Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So earlier this year, I wrote a little blog post about trying to come up with a good metaphor for using LLMs for programming. And what I proposed at the time is that one useful way to think about LLMs, especially when they're used for programming, is as a compiler. If you look at traditional compilers, they translate from a high-level language down to machine code or assembly code. And in that same way, you could use an LLM as a compiler that takes a natural language prompt and outputs a high-level language. I won't go through the entire argument. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description below. But lately, I've come across a couple of other papers that are kind of using the same metaphor or the same analogy. And so I wanted to look in a bit more detail at those papers. This first paper asks if LLMs can be thought of as compilers for the fourth generation of programming languages. And what they mean here by fourth generation is basically natural language programming, where second generation was assembly language, the third generation, which we're in currently, is high-level structured programming languages. And the fourth generation would use English or natural language as specification. And they push the compiler metaphor a bit further because unlike how we use Copilot today, where the programmer does quite frequently edit or change the suggestion from Copilot, the authors here want to treat the output as if it were a true compiler in that it would be mostly opaque. You wouldn't want to go through the abstraction barrier and change it just like you don't go and modify the assembly language generated by your C++ compiler. One of the crucial elements of this metaphor is the use of feedback, almost a dialogue between the human as it refines its specification in response to feedback given by the model. And they illustrate this with a very simple example here you have a very simple intro to programming kind of a problem, which essentially is about finding the index of the maximum element in an array. And here's a simple English language description of the problem. And if that is given as is to chat GPT, it will come back asking for a bit more detail on how the input is represented. And then if you tell it that you have a list of the number of cookies brought back by each soldier, it will give you this piece of code over here. The authors push this example one step further and see, well, what if you specified the problem in a very formal manner? So they use set theory and they specify the output in terms of the maximum function. And so this is very formally specified and when specified in that way this is the code that chat gpt gives you what they're trying to get at i think is the first argument against thinking of llms as compilers which is that well compilers are deterministic programs you know the output you're going to get from them given a specific input program whereas llms are probabilistic they might not even output correct code every time and the authors are saying that you have to think of it as a hybrid of these two strategies in that feedback is a crucial element of this loop. And this is a diagram which illustrates that philosophy, which is that you start with some kind of a specification. And if there are gaps in the specification, the model gives you feedback. If there are syntactic errors in the code, that error is again fed back to the model. You can specify behavior even in the form of unit tests. And if there are unit test failures, that is fed back to fine tune your specification. And as you refine your input prompt or your input specification, iteratively based on this feedback, you will get closer and closer to the correct program that matches your specification. So we should not think about the input as one single prompt, but actually an entire structured document, which is made up of several prompts, each talking about different parts of your specification. Now let's switch to another paper, which takes a much broader look at 
not just one, but a range of metaphors for thinking about using LLMs for programming. The first metaphor is to use AI assistance as such. And obviously, that's how many programmers use ChatGPT, where they would previously have gone to Google or Stack Overflow. They ask ChatGPT for a code snippet or a solution or how to use an API. Their second metaphor is similar to the first paper we looked at, which is AI assistance as compilation, treating the LLM like a compiler. And they talk about some of the same ideas as the previous paper, but also call out the steady march of programming language progress towards being more and more declarative rather than procedural. So you try to specify what your computation is about rather than how to carry out that computation. The third metaphor is what is GitHub Copilot's tagline, your AI pair programmer. You think of the LLM as a pair programmer. Sometimes you drive, sometimes you navigate, but it serves as essentially a supercharged rubber duck. It's a pair programmer in the sense that it is very personalized to your context. It can read the code around the point you're editing and understand all that context to give you a very pinpointed suggestion. And finally, the authors wrap up by saying, yes, these are all somewhat apt metaphors, but they also break down in various places. And that you should think about LLM-assisted programming as a new distinct way of programming. So all these metaphors might get you so far, but ultimately this is an entirely new way of programming. So that was a quick look at a couple of papers which are trying to think of metaphors for using LLMs for programming, which metaphors work well, which don't. I hope you found that useful. If you like content like this, please like the video, consider subscribing, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.